Libra, I have an intuitive message for you. Um, by the way, welcome to your uh, reading for this month of May. This is going to be your what you don't see coming slash what you need to know. Um, number one, I heard the intuitive message, something about hitting somebody where the sun don't shine or something is maybe hidden where the sun don't shine. But I'm getting like somebody's punching somebody or hurting somebody in like the crotch area or something. You're hitting somebody where the sun don't shine. shine. The second thing I'm hearing is like sleeping with the wrong person like someone here slept with the wrong person um yeah i don't know if you thought somebody was going to be your one and only or your one and only true love or something like that i feel like you slept with the wrong person there's something here about like knocking on the devil's door like sleeping with the devil or something like that what is that what is that saying dancing with the devil something like that some of y'all could be listening to that sam smith song um dancing with a stranger but let's see what, what do you not see coming some of y'all, I'm getting the energy of running. Some of you guys are running from something, some kind of truth, or someone is running from some kind of truth. Or someone could be running from the law, um, or just running. I'm getting someone's running away from something. Um, I don't know if I don't know if the thing is I don't know if something is necessarily chasing somebody where they feel the need to run or if they're just running. But I'm getting somebody's running from some kind of truth and it's inevitable. Like it's gonna it's gonna hit them eventually or they're gonna have to face it eventually. Um, someone can't run forever. What do you have for Libra? What does Libra not see coming in this month of May? I'm getting you're going to sleep with the wrong person. It could be a Scorpio. We have the King of Wands. I feel like somebody here may be abusive to you or they may use you. Um, they may belittle you, abuse you, call you all kinds of names or something like that. I feel like you're, there's something here about, yeah, I'm getting the same stuff I just said, knocking on the devil's door. What's the King of Wands here? There may be someone abusive here. It's the King of Wands for Libra. Um, this could be a Leo as well. We have Leo straight up off the bat. Someone here uses excuses to, to beat you or to abuse you or like scare tactics or something like that. Someone here uses anything that they can get to hurt you. It's like a parent. Like, um, I don't know if y'all grew up. Well, I grew up Caribbean, but um, I grew up in a Caribbean household. Uh, but I didn't, I didn't grow up getting beat like a Caribbean did. I got beat like an American Caribbean. But Caribbean Caribbeans, they beat you with the, the belt head, they beat you with irons and stuff, they, they they do all that. I got a little I got a little I got a little I got it a little easier, but I still got my ass beat. Um <laughs> but I feel like somebody here beats you or hits you or something like that where the sun don't shine. I don't know if this is this was like a domestic violence case or something like that, an abusive case. Um, what's the King of Wands and the Sun card here for a Libra? What they don't see coming this month of May. King of Wands and the Sun card. I'm, I'm hearing no face, no case. Hitting someone where the sun don't shine. Someone got something on tape or something like that. King of Wands, the Sun, and the Ace of Cups. Who is this King of Wands? This proves that somebody is like abusive or something like that. King of Wands, the Knight of Wands reverse. <clears throat> you may have had kids with this person. The Five of Pentacles. Someone here could suffer from like some kind of alcohol disease or like alcohol poisoning or some, some kind of kidney thing. Like someone here may have like kidney stones or kidney failure. I feel like this is someone who knows that they have that though. Like I'm not seeing this as a new diagnosis. It's like someone knows that they're sick. Um, I'm also getting like uh, diabetes. Someone here could like have an, like a... I don't know, someone here could have some kind of power and they abuse it. Five of Wands in the Sun card. What is this? I'm hearing that I'm hearing this person maybe try to manipulate the situation and say, like, hey, nobody's perfect. But mind you, like they're beating your ass or they're abusing you, or they're if they're not physically hurting you, physically touching you, although I'm seeing physical abuse. They could just be verbally abusing you or making, like, you know, adding fire, adding gasoline to the fire. Um, ten of Wands. I don't know. Are you in an abusive relationship and you don't realize that this is abusive, like someone's abusing you? Tell me, tell me, why is this coming out for what Libra doesn't? Or you know what? What does this have to do with Libra? How, how does Libra play a part in a situation here for what they don't see coming in the situation? The three of cups okay yeah so you could find out that somebody's abusive they could be abusing one of your friends or you just maybe you've been in denial or maybe you didn't know what to call it your situation but this is abusive this is an abuse of power someone here is using you taking advantage and abusing you or if you never figured out like you could never 
figure out like is does this classify as that yes it is yes it does it is abuse this is abuse if it's monetary they're doing something for monetary gain trying to get something out of you that's what the term is called so for some of y'all someone here was i'm not getting it to you it could be i mean although it could be it could be one of your friends or something like that someone here was exchanging money for sexual favors you didn't know what that word was it's called like prostitution or like escort uh, escorting like like the, the term that you think it should be called that is the correct term i don't know if somebody's gaslighting you into thinking like no, that's not what it, this is. That's like, you know, it's fine. This is, this is just plain toxic. It's not abusive. No, it is abusive. Or yes, someone does have an alcohol problem. Or yes, this is prostitution or something like that. Like, yes, you're right. You didn't expect this to be the case, but that's exact. Like you, you have, you're, um, you're right on the money with something. You are correct that this is exactly what it is. What it looks like is exactly what it is. Don't let them fool you or don't let don't let them fool you in the public or something like that. Um, who, who, who is this for uh, Libra? Who is this for Libra? Five of Swords. For some of y'all, if, if you're a victim in this abusive situation, because we have the Five of Pentacles and the Five of Swords, this could talk about victim mentality. If you are the victim, you will be the victor, like you will win. But you have to recognize what this is first, that this is abuse. Someone here is hurting you. Someone here is abusing their power or exerting their influence over you. I don't know if someone's in the public eye. What is this sun card? Someone here could be very popular or famous or, you know, they're just well-known, well-liked. So, you know, no one would believe, like, how could this person do that? And, you know, that's why they do what they do behind closed doors. Maybe you need to expose this person or something for the monster that they are. Like, don't keep this hidden. The hangman. And the two at cups reversed. Yeah, you may find out a relationship is not as perfect as you thought it was. Like who someone is outside is a completely different bot is, com is a completely different person behind closed doors. Um, you really don't know what goes on behind closed doors, and I feel like you need to start asking questions or you need to start believing your suspicions or something. Like yeah, that person's beating your friend, or yeah, that person is. Or if if it's if you don't if you don't even know like. I don't know, I feel like there's a suspicion that you may have and it's like accurate, like, yeah, they're together or yeah, that's what's going on behind closed doors. It's not all peachy, like, yeah, they're having issues or something like that, like, you're correct. Why is this coming on? Why is this coming out for what does Libra need to know or what does Libra not see coming? Why is this coming out for what does Libra not see coming? Give me clarity, why is this coming out? The King of Swords, someone's downfall may be like imminent. King of Swords. The Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles. I don't know. I feel like someone here is in denial about a situation. They don't think that they have a problem. It could be a Pisces. They don't see something as a problem yet, but it is. Someone may be like in too deep or something. King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. There's something here about like someone moving too fast. Hold on. I'm trying to, because I don't want to block these. And you know what? Let me just, whatever. Sorry, I'm being indecisive. You know, I, I've never, I've never been indecisive about the placement of the cards before, except for just now. You know, Libra. So I don't know if someone here is indecisive about something. They keep going back and forth, changing their mind. For some of y'all, because um, you know, I take, I take a lot of stuff as a message. Because you know, if I start behaving abnormally, that's a sign. Because I, I never move the cards around this much. I'm never indecisive about where to place them. Um, these cards are moved over here away from this person. So someone here is deciding whether they should separate or go back. They keep separating, going back, separating, going back. Um, King of Swords, Nine of Pentacles, and the Page of Pentacles. Why is this coming out for what does Libra not see coming? For some of y'all, I feel like some a child, sorry, this is my stomach. I feel like a child may be special needs or something and you don't know it yet. Or someone here may, may have like, you know, they may be missing something mentally. Like, I don't know if you've always wondered if something's wrong with somebody and then here you find out like, yeah, they, they have like, I don't know, some kind of mental illness or mental rigidity. Like someone here is mi missing a chromosome or something like they're functional, highly functional in society. They're fine. Nobody you wouldn't think it like sometimes these illnesses take. Uh, take effect like in people's physical appearance like with people with down syndrome sometimes you can tell like their features are enlarged or something like that like you know sometimes these things take sometimes these things take physical um have physical effects this person looks completely fine they don't look like they have anything wrong and then you know 
you find out like they actually are missing a chromosome or they actually are a little um, What, what is this? King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Why, why is this coming out for Libra? What, what do they not see coming? For some of y'all, I'm getting an impeachment. Some president may get impre impeached or something like that. And, you know, I almost slipped up and said impregnated. Someone here, a president or something somewhere <laughs> could have impregnated somebody, and that's why they're getting impeached. They had a child out of wedlock or something like that. I'm getting, like, some kind of impeachment, some kind of program, someone having to join. That's a side message. But King of Swords, the Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Someone here is going to face hard judgment for like, this is like an intimate relationship someone is not supposed to be in or something was not supposed to be seen by the public. Something happened. Um, so, some of y'all, a Capricorn could have been involved. King of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. Give me, give me, oh, hmm, hold on. Maybe this is not the deck. Let me try this. Give me a second. 11, 11 on the clock. Can you give me clarity, spirit? Um, why is this coming out for what does Libra not see coming in this month of May? Why is this coming out for what Libra is not see coming? Because Libra, I feel like you may outsmart somebody. You may outsmart somebody. Like the wise thing for you to do, I don't know if someone's telling you to keep something private or keep something a secret. The wise thing for you to do is talk about it or tell someone because you can get an outside perspective. This person wants you to keep it in-house. They don't want you to go anywhere else because they can control the narrative or the situation. It's easier to control you if they turn you against everybody else and make it seem like they're the only ones you can listen to. Um, I feel like you need to have discussions. You need to talk about it. You need to let it out because then you'll catch the lie or something like that. King of Swords. <clears throat> For some of y'all, someone here has a really hard time telling the truth or being honest. Whenever I see this thief card, I think of the Seven of Swords, because um, the Seven of Swords literally represents a thief. <laughs> or like, you know, deception, taking the easy way out, trying to take the back door, or trying not to get caught. But um, I feel like someone here is just trying to take the easy way out. And the best thing that you can do is like to talk about it. Talk about it amongst people, amongst your peers, or something like that like share a little get share a little get a little share a little get a little or something like that eventually you'll get the truth out of them i feel like something is only a matter of time to more about this for libra um because i feel like someone here has a lying problem like they keep saying xyz but then they have nothing to show for it and then i feel like you kind of wonder like what is what is the need to lie like what where why did you have to lie about that like lying was never necessary I feel like someone here just has a lying problem or something or something else someone could have been could have been lying about you know how much they make or even having going gone to a job like they're lying about where they go every day like they just kind of sneak out come back they're saying they're go to, they go to work but they're not um i just feel like someone here has a problem and they should get help for it because it's starting to like take over their relationships or their life and it may get exposed we have money Someone here also thinks that money solves all problems, and I feel like in this situation it doesn't. I'm not saying it doesn't in real life, because, you know, would you rather be, you know, I'm just, I think we'd all rather have money than not have money. Um, it's the people that already have the riches that, that, that say money doesn't buy happiness. But of course you could say that, because you bought everything that you wanted. But if you're starving, money could definitely buy you some food, and that'll make you happy, because you're not starving. But I feel like in this situation, right here what we're talking about right now i feel the need to clarify that this situation right now um money doesn't solve everything or something like that like things need to be discussed or things need to be talked about or plans need to be put in place or something for how something is going to be handled i feel like something needs to be handled a different way i, I don't really understand what this is about i'm not gonna lie but um i hope that makes sense to you libra Anyways, that's been your reading. I hope this helps. I hope it I hope it helped you in some way. I hope it resonated. And I'll see you in your next reading. Bye, guys.